I was talking about something that always astonished me about the people from the subcontinent. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, they are so observant to their nawafil. You rarely see someone from India, Bangladesh, or Pakistan missing his nawafil. And the Prophet says, alayhi salam, 12 rak'ahs, 12 rak'ahs during the day and the night. Whoever observes them, Allah would build him a house in paradise. And when I come to see my fellow Arabs and, and other Muslims, and the way they neglect, and I'm one of them, the way they probably miss one or two every now and then, out of laziness, out of wanting to leave the masjid, out of, it brings question marks about our commitment to Islam. I brought this as an introduction to say that we have a problem with the people from the subcontinent when it comes to praying in the masjid. In Fajr prayer, they have this common mistake. They come late to the masjid, the imam is in the first rak'ah reciting the Fatiha. Instead of joining the congregation, they go and pick a pillar of the masjid and pray two rak'ahs of sunnah. And sometimes they miss the first rak'ah of the congregation prayer because of this. Well, this is what I wanted to advise my brothers and sisters that their prayer, when the Imam has started, well actually before that, their prayer, when the Mu'adhin has uh, uh, gave, uh, given the Iqamah for the Salat, is invalid. The Prophet ﷺ said, when the prayer is being called for, that is after the Iqamah, there is no prayer valid except the mandatory prayer, the one that it has been called for. So, you cannot and you should not hear the iqama and start your sunnah prayer. It is invalid because what's mandatory upon you is to join the congregation, to be in the first row if you can, and to attend the first takbirah if you can. This is what I wanted to say with all admiration and love to the brothers and sisters from the uh, uh, subcontinent.